Hey there. Are you ready? All right, let's go. John Padno, show us what you got. <sighs> but I guess it's fine. Sometimes people do get the wrong idea from afar. Okay. Come on, Theo, Zeros. While the professor's away, we'll protect her home. That sounds good. Satellite cure. Nice. Let's go, Zeros. I like his voice. Let's mode activate. It's very fitting. Degama Driver. That wasn't bad. Legend of Heroes. Damien. Trails through daybreak. My man. From here, a new trail begins. Really? <laughs> wow. I never would have guessed. A new trail in my trails? I think the cadence that Paul is giving to Quatra was very apropos. Uh, because, yes, as you could infer from that beginning, <laughs> that beginning scene, he often gets mistaken for a girl because of how he looks. As you know, there are some, some young teenage boys that do have more feminine features to their face, or they have longer hair. So, of course, you, you have those typical tropes that lead, to some, that lead to some pretty funny interactions. But Quatra overall as a character, he is the Tita slash Tio slash just little goofy engineer know-it-all character of this game. Oh, and let me tell you, Basil... The city, that theme, I'm going to play it in the background of this video, but oh, it is so good. It's like, it's like a cozier version of Zeiss to me, as if it, as if Zeiss could get any cozier. <laughs> the Zeiss theme is a bit more upbeat. It's a bit more industrial sounding, whereas the Basil theme is a lot more low key. It's a lot more chill, sort of futuristic kind of city built into a mountain. And instead of elevators, they have little gondola things that take you across and let you sort of see the sights as you go up to the, the Basel Institute of Science. So honestly, this, the, the city theme fits very well with just the overall vibe of, of the town. And oh man, that section of the game. <laughs> anyway, we're at that time of the video. Here's some Japanese voice clips so you guys can compare the two. So yeah, overall, I'd say Paul nails it. Him not really having that many notable roles as far as voice acting gigs go. Hey, maybe this could be not necessarily a big break, but it could be more of a gateway for him to get more roles in the future, whether it's with whether it's with more Falcom games or just other JRPG series in general. Or just video games, I guess. Obviously we'll have to see more as these little snippets can only give us so much. But overall, there hasn't really been any that have significantly disappointed me. I do see some of the discourse online that there are some people who they just don't think any of the voices fit. And um, <laughs> I think those people have a chip on their shoulder for other reasons that we won't discuss in this video. Because that's the thing, I don't, I don't compare English and Japanese in a way that's sort of like, oh, this one's better, or this one sucks. It's like, I use them, I've said this before, but I use them as comparisons to just sort of, here's the style the English is going for, here's the style the Japanese is going for. Feel free to pick whichever one you want. And yeah, you can be disappointed with certain performances. And overall, I would say that due to the, due to the nature of Japanese voice acting and just the culture in general around that whole genre over in Japan. They take things... I wouldn't say they take things more seriously, but it's definitely more professional. They, they go the extra mile to sort of become the characters and to sort of train their voices to have more of a vast array of emotions 
that you can hear and resonate with. And I do feel part of that is just the way that the Japanese language is structured. It allows for more of those emotions to be easily conveyed. And there are English voice actors that are insane as far as just their voice acting ability and their range and their uh, their ability to convey various different emotions like Bryce Pappenbrook, Kyle McCarley, Matthew Mercer, Aaron Fitzgerald, Johnny Young Bosch, Yuri Lowenthal, and you know, the, the list goes on. We, we all know the, the top tier voice actors. <laughs> but I think th this sounds good to me. I can't wait to hear more of his performance in the in the official English version. And I hope people have fun playing with him. He does use the little robots for his crafts. So it's kind of like uh, Tia with Zite when she unlocked the S craft with Zite. Except Quatra has a little drone and the dog robot. Which as far as as far as gameplay goes, he's definitely more of the Tita role where he's support. But he's also like the Altina or the Tio, where they have just crazy high art strength. He's very much a glass cannon. You definitely want to keep him as far away from the enemies as possible. Which with Van's aggro move, the little coin flick move, <laughs> that's so cool. Pretty easy to do. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter. So feel free to leave a like on the video on your way out. Leave a comment down below, tell me your thoughts. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Join the community of awesome people here. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider becoming a channel member. Your support, no matter how small, would go a long way in continuing the success of this channel moving forward. And this channel is only successful because of people like you who come here and watch the videos, who interact with me, who give me your time so freely. And for that, I am ever so grateful. So thank you guys. Regardless if, if you become a channel member or not, it's that will never be necessary as far as supporting me. It's only, it's only there as an option for those who truly want to go above and beyond what I already ask for. And a very extra special shout out to my first ever channel member, KM115. Thank you so much, man. Your support really just, it just has blown me away. It was completely unexpected. And just thank you. I hope to continue to offer you guys the best content that I can make here. And I hope that with this new addition, it can keep motivating me to make these videos even better for you guys. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right, what's next?